Hi there, welcome to Be A Surface Pro. Well, so far we've published 22 of these Surface Pro tips for you. And we take a look back in this video over the first 20 to pick out your top five. But before I go into those top five videos, you might have heard Microsoft say that the Surface series are the most productive devices on the planet. Well, it's our mission to make sure that those Surface devices can be your most productive tools. And I wanted to say a big thank you to you for your comments and for watching our videos. Your comments and input have shaped the videos that we've made so far. So please keep on commenting, keep on watching to make sure that we can produce the videos that you want in this series. So let's take a look at your top five Surface tips so far. Coming in at number one is one of my favorites, how to sign a Word document. This is in fact the first of our Surface Pro Tips series. If you take a look around your office, you'll see people going off to the printer, printing out a document, signing their name on it, scanning it back in again, and wasting a whole lot of time and resources. So that tip can help you to eliminate that whole process and it'll allow you to sign a document no matter where you are. Coming in at number two was how to change your Surface Pen settings. That's a great tip if you want to learn how to program the little pen button on the back of your Surface Pen, or change settings maybe for left or right handed users. A very important tip that came in at number three is why use the Surface Pen? Now for a lot of people, using the Surface Pen makes sense instantly. For a lot of others, they'll put it in the drawer and say, I'm not sure if I'd ever use that. This video covers some of the key benefits that you can get out of using the Surface Pen. Trust me, it can save you an enormous amount of time and it's a fantastic tip. Coming in at number four is take notes without the Surface Pro 4 keyboard. If you're going to take notes with the Surface Pen, you're going to find that reaching out across the keyboard and writing on a vertical screen is a really bad note taking experience. So you want to get rid of your keyboard and lay your device flat and set it up for the best possible pen experience. Top tip number five was how to attach the Surface Pen. Now this one might seem a little obvious, but if you get the pen attached onto your Surface wrong, you can easily lose it. And no doubt a lot of people out there have lost their Surface Pen. And when it costs 60 to $70 US, around about $100 Australian to replace that pen, you'll wanna make sure that you attach it in the best possible way. So thanks again for following this series, Be A Surface Pro. We release a new one of these every Wednesday, and we've got tons of these videos planned. And if you found any of these tips helpful, chances are your friends and colleagues do too. So please remember to share these tips with them and subscribe to our channel for more Surface Pro tips.